I believe that NTC gives the incoming rotational unit the best, closest scenario to combat. I know, for instance, the 30th is getting ready to deploy. This is their last look at training, and it's the full scale as much as the Army can give. So I think it, it's a great opportunity, and nothing else will compare to it besides real live combat. North Carolina National Guardsmen in the California desert right now. They're training for a big deployment. We are currently fighting the 30th Armored Brigade Combat Team from North Carolina. I'm the commander of the 11th Armored Cavalry Regiment. Brigadier General Alan Boyette is overseeing the 4,200 soldiers. We are the largest professional full-time opposing force in the world. As the brigade, for the first time in a decade, prepares to deploy overseas, Soldiers here in the 11th Armored Cavalry Regiment, also known as the Black Horse, our job is to provide a lethal professional op for to train U.S. Brigade combat teams. We've got to make sure we block there in the north, protect our flank. Also, we got to be able to turn the enemy into our engagement here. It's our job to give the training unit while they're here the hardest day they will ever have short of combat, as we call it the hardest day in the desert, so that when they do deploy around the world and go to combat, it's actually easier than coming here to the National Training Center. In general, the 30th ABCT is going to have a hard time infiltrating the city.
do a great job here at NTC, make North Carolina proud downrange, and Ohio, and West Virginia, and South Carolina.